I'm Mike Hasse for CigarPioneers.com. Joining me today is men's basketball head coach Anthony Latina as we recap last Saturday's game at Webster Bank Arena in the Connecticut Six, a pseudo road game, taking on crosstown rival Fairfield. Everything seemed uh, exciting for the game. Atmosphere was great in the arena, the final game of the night in the Connecticut Six. Still out to an early 10 point lead, but then somewhere along the line, the shots just didn't seem to fall uh, late in the first half. You know, you know, obviously we shot the ball terribly from, from two and three, and, and that's, it's, it's, uh, it's tough to win the game when you shot as poorly as we did. Early in the game, we got some easy baskets in transition, and then um, we kind of got away from it a little bit, and you gotta give Fairfield credit, they got back better, and, and their length really bothered us. Uh, they're a very good defensive team, and with the, they were a very good defensive team last year, and with the addition of, of uh, Gilbert, mm -hmm. um, you know, he was a difference maker. So, you know, that's going to happen at times when you don't shoot the ball well. I thought our defense kept us in the game, um, but we're going to have to execute a little bit better, uh, maybe throw the extra pass, and try to get the ball out in transition the entire game, because uh, this will not be the last game we shoot poorly. So, uh, you know, hopefully we, we corrected those things in the last few practices, and, and also hopefully we'll, we'll make some more shots. Now in the Montreal trip in August, we saw a little bit of that pressure defense you wanted to play for the full 94 feet of the floor. Saturday night, you forced 26 turnovers, and typically you'd think that would lead to maybe at least 30 points off turnovers, but again, you only scored 54 in the game. Yeah, you know, I was very pleased with our defense and our pressure. When you turn someone over 26 times and have 11 steals, those numbers would lead the country by a lot. Um, 11 steals and, and 26 turnovers. Um, we did not convert them uh, to as many points as we would have liked. Um, but we, we have to continue to stay with that. That's going to be something that we, uh, is, is part of our identity. Um, we, we do have to attack more offensively in transition throughout the 40 minutes. Uh, you know, we're a man down with Dave on, but uh, Barnett, but I still think we have guys that are capable of, of coming in. So um, we're going to have to execute a little bit better in the half court, throw the extra pass, and, and then again at the end of the day, um, when you play at this level, it, it's, it's a shot-making level. And uh, the team that makes the most open shots generally wins. And, and Fairfield was that team on Saturday. So uh, we got a lot of shots in our practice. Hopefully our guys uh, are going tomorrow's game with confidence in terms of taking and making open shots. The guy who made some shots Saturday night was Luis Montez, 19 points. You watch him on the floor. He's not really the dynamic scorer that Shane Gibson was a year ago, but he's a guy who can score from pretty much anywhere on the floor. Yeah, you know, he, he's, he's a tough matchup because he can bring bigger guys outside because he can make a shot, and he can bring smaller guys inside and kind of bully them a little bit. Um, but with that said, Fairfield's length did bother him as well. I mean, it wasn't as efficient a 19 as we would like him to get. Uh, he was 5 for 15. But he did manufacture points for us. He did get to the free throw line, which we need him to do. So, um, so there were some positives. The turnovers that we created were a positive. The fact that we got to the free throw line 29 times were a positive. I thought defensively we were positive. Offensively, we have to play much better. We have to run uh, significantly better in transition, and we have to execute better. Uh, if we do those things, we're going to have a chance in, in most of our games. You know, we play a terrific team, a Holy Cross team that played uh, Harvard to basically uh, an even game for 38 minutes. So uh, on the road, we're going to have to shoot the ball much better and improve in those areas. If we do that, um, I think we have a chance to be in position to win the game at the end. And then Saturday, another game here, the home opener against Brown. Uh, two games this week, does that affect anything going in terms of lineups or anything, knowing that it's three games in a week? Yeah, no, not, not so much. You know, we, we gave them Sunday off, um, and, and we'll adjust practice to make sure they have legs. But, um, you know, three games over a, a seven-day period is, is not uh, terribly uncommon. And, um, you know, we're really excited to play at home. We had a tremendous turnout from our fans. Uh, it was, the support was overwhelming. I had never seen anything like that in eight years. So we hope there'll be some carryover to Saturday's game. Uh, but we have to play better. We have to earn that type of support. And, uh, and we're going to work very hard uh, to try to do that. And uh, hopefully the, the student turnout will be what it was last Saturday. And uh, if that's the case, we'll have a terrific home court advantage against a very well-coached, uh, fundamentally sound Brown team. Men's basketball again, as Coach Virginia said, is on the road at Holy Cross tomorrow night. And that's Saturday here at 2 o'clock in the Pitt Center. Men's basketball has their home opener against Brown.